So this one just came out today. A lot of people have feelings about it, um, but it is a Rob Zombie film. It is The Munsters. Um, it finally came out. It dropped today. He kind of been hyping it up on Monday and, and Tuesday. And um, before we yeah, watch kinda, it, I have to ask you a question. Did you watch The Munsters? The original, like the, the show? Yeah. Yep. Not not a lot, but I remember do watching some of the like just random episodes. Like it, I would turn it on and I would kind of like watch an episode here and there. I don't remember if I watched the, it was a Nick at Night or what. But I watched a lot of episodes of the Monsters. Oh but, really? Yeah, I watched yeah. a lot of them. So that's why I, when I saw Grandpa. I was like, "Hey, Grandpa!" But uh, yeah. I watched a yeah. lot of episodes of the Monsters. So I'm excited to see. I have not watched this. Uh, you haven't seen trailer yet? at all, so I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I'll, yeah. I mean, you know the monsters, and you know Rob Zombie's kind of style of movies. Yep. So obviously, I think you're expecting a certain kind of exactly. I, I, thing, I, you know, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. So we'll watch it, and then and then we'll talk about it a little bit, and then we'll talk about other people. Oh, man. So. Oh, it's universal. We're going to copyright claim it. Uh, copyright claim everything. Rob Zombie, the director of House of a Thousand Corpses, Halloween, and the Devil's Rejects, brings you the greatest love story ever told. <laughs> oh, I, I don't like the sound of that. Think of it. The brain of a super genius transplanted into the body of a perfect physical specimen. <laughs> So genius. Cold. A man that every time he enters my crypt, it's like a stake through my dead black heart. I can whip you up a humpy down in the lab. Oh, no. Remember what happened last time? He was battered. I'm gonna go. Kind of funny. Okay. <laughs> For a vision. A queen. True love. And what exactly do you want? Is Herman Munster in there? Uh -huh. I knew the moment I laid eyes on you that you were special. I understand if you don't feel the same. I'm just a regular gal living a boring, normal life. If there's one thing I know, is that the rest of the world melted away. As soon as you approve him, I hate his voice already. This lady is truly in love. Oh, come on. You know, and I know, that we got to get rid of that bozo, Herman Munster. Transylvania. That's a strange way of saying hello. Oh, I guess we're gonna have to get used to it. Couple months. Written and directed. All right. So, as I said, I watched a lot of the monsters. Uh, that looks horrible. <laughs> it looks <laughs> awful. It looks so bad. It. Uh, I'll probably go see it because I watch everything, but it looks so bad. <laughs> it it does not. It does not look good, man. Well, part, <sighs> the thing about Herman Munster, you, I can't remember who, who's the actor that is. Oh, it's Herman Munster. His voice is like synonymous with Herman Munster, and I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But even like her voice, it's like Fred yeah. Gwynn or something like that. Uh, look it up. Yeah, Fred. Uh, Fred Gwynn. Yeah, you can hear him. He has that voice. <laughs> and it's a deep voice. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It just it's synonymous with it. It made sense. It was kind of goofy and all that stuff. And then you know the, the the one cousin who's like just a regular normal girl. All that was cool. Mm -hmm. This does not seem cool at all. So I just mm -hmm. I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Rob Zombie, okay. Yeah, 
yeah. I mean, even even um, the the actress who played Lily Munster, um, what was her name? Uh, Di Carlo was it v- Vanya or uh, Yanni Di Carlo? Yeah, I mean, she was. I don't. I don't want to say she was like a sex icon, but she was like she was though. Definitely one one of the like you know. You know, like that that it actress in the you know in the in the sixties, you know, stuff like that. Um, not in the sixties. Yeah, right. No, you're right. Yeah. Okay, I'm like, wait, wait, yeah, like in the yeah in the sixties. You know, I mean, even like still now today, a lot of like people who love horror, you know, like find her still as like one of those like uh um like a pinup kind of like model ish, you know. Yep, I agree. I'm not, I just, I don't. I and don't then see. he puts his wife in everything, which is fine, which is fine. But just because you can do it doesn't mean you should do it. You, you know, know honestly, and, it looks like it should be on Paramount. Or, yeah. Or, or, yeah, it should be one of those, you know. Yeah. Yeah, this should be like a Hulu exclusive or something like that. I, I, it's um, too good for Hulu's too good for that. I feel like it should be <laughs> like I'll tell you like uh Paramount, what's the other one? Uh with the what we were just talking peacock. about? Uh peacock. peacock. That's what it looks like. It looks like a, a peacock exclusive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, even um so I put this trailer on our Facebook group, um, you know, spoiler kings out over on Facebook. Um, and my sister, who's a pretty big I don't say not well, she likes the Rob Zombie films. But mm-hmm. she's made like some really good one, you know, like uh, the whole that was, that was a corpse. corpse. <laughs> yeah, you know, and uh, even the first Halloween he did was pretty good. The second one was kind of weird. Um, but you know, El Super Bisto. I don't yeah. know if you ever seen that. I was <laughs> 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 working family, love... video. family video. Oh yeah, sure. all type of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean that is not a family friendly video, but El Super <laughs> Bisto is is. We need this house of thousand corpses. <laughs> corpse. uh, and you know all that stuff. So. You know, he 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 has some good movies. This I I even my sister was like, I I like all this stuff, and this looks bad. This looks horrible. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I mean, people are saying it looks like a fan film. I, I think I think even Brandon said that. Like, it looks like a fan film. It looks like it's just it's too too much. You know, I don't know. It almost doesn't know. look believable. Like someone put him up to it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I mean, it's it's something that no one's asking for. So <laughs> it really is, you know. But it's also it's really, really old. So I was like, cool, this this it does have a fan base still. So if you can deliver, it it could be good. Like you have a fan base. But you know, the normal people who like his stuff are not it's, liking it. It's like I said, I watched it on Nick at night. So you know, if you watch Nick at night, you know. I grew up on it on, on that stuff. So Green yeah. Acres, I watched the Monsters, I watched all that stuff. This is terrible. <laughs> just does not look good at all. I don't know. I don't know how I could be a fan of it. I don't know. But I'll I'll still yeah. see it. Yeah, I'll see. I'll see. <laughs> we're part of that uh we're part of that A list thing on EMC exactly. now. So now we get three movies, so maybe. That's why you say you feel like you, sometimes you just have to go see it. Like, uh, eh, might as well see it. At least I'll see it in Dolby. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go to the 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 dine in one and just have like a burger and watch it. It's yeah. all right. Even then, you go like I'm leaving. <laughs> I can't do this <laughs> halfway anymore. through. I'm like, eh. it just I don't know the camera angles, the way she talked was like it. It was trying too hard to be to be what it, what the show was in you know it was it the sixties. Like so, 70s, 60s, yeah. The 70s? I'm trying to remember when it came out. Um, yeah, so I don't know. It, it just like it felt like a parody almost. Exactly. What of, like. Yeah. So that was kind of disappointing. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, he's got fans that, that love him no matter what. So we'll see if that if that works out. Um cool. Want to get on to our uh, our last uh, our last trailer? Yep. Hopefully this one's good. So Monsters came out in '64 and lasted to '66. So two years. Yep. It's not too bad for a show back then. I'm trying to think of like shows that didn't really last. I mean, I mean, it's like Green Acres. 
Was it the Patty yeah, Duke show? Yeah. <laughs> you can lose your... uh, the Dick Van Dyke. How long Dick Van Dyke? Dick Van Dyke, yeah. He's the man. <laughs> How long? Uh... Even that, 61 to 66, five years. And and that's the one of the greatest shows of all time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Dick. What's it? Oh, Rob. Did, uh, I guess it was five seasons in five years. So, I mean, Mary Tyler Moore being his wife is awesome. So, yeah, whatever. That was the Mary Tyler Moore show. So, I'm saying all yeah. these shows only yeah, lasted exactly. so long. So, eh, you know, whatever. Yeah. Thank you, Nick and Nike. Yeah. Thanks for keeping <laughs> me up during my kid, my, during my childhood. <laughs>